Hey, hey, hello everybody, it's me Beata from horoscopesandreadings.com and today let's take a look on natal chart aspect Mars square Pluto. I mean, uh, I typically don't do natal chart aspects, but lately I have been drawn to this one, especially square. That's why I would like to cover square first and of course we will continue with um, other aspects uh, because opposition tends to play out differently as well conjunction okay conjunction is pretty much in my opinion very different energy from square for those who are new here hello hi and welcome please hit the subscribe button so we can grow our audience and uh, i will be able to shoot more videos for you I'm available for private readings. I'm mainly relationship astrologer, but I can really read any type of chart. Uh, I don't know, birth chart, career horoscope, really whatever you want me, you know, child horoscope predictions. I'm also a tarot reader in case you are interested. I have actually some great results with tarot readings but uh, today we are here to cover this aspect first okay so um, i have my personal experiences uh, with this aspect even though i don't have it natally but uh, what i have observed is that these people obviously it depends on the houses involved but uh, in general, okay, because this is general video, these people tend to be very mysterious and even secretive, right? Because remember, um, Pluto always uh, plays out very hidden, very secretive, right? We really don't like to, don't want to, and we don't show off our Pluto. That's why, um, first of all, there is really a lot of anger with this square if you agree or no it's true you know but this anger is hidden right this is not type of anger you will show off in public and uh, people can be very surprised how angry you can be or whoever has this aspect okay these people are prone to aggression but uh, at least I didn't find a lot of sources um, about this topic, but uh, it's actually the true, right? But the thing with Pluto is that it really needs some time um, for this person to really, you know, burst out with anger, right? Because Pluto square Mars is not quick anger. So I will say that first uh, there is really need to accumulate enough things uh, to be pissed off and only then uh, these people will burst out with anger okay on the more positive note uh, the truth is that these people are true survivors so no matter how difficult are circumstances they will still survive right these people are street smart because they have been through a lot and they actually really experienced a darker side of life you know and i don't know if these people have like scorpio rising or aries rising then this aspect really becomes the main theme of uh, their birth chart so thing with this aspect is that uh, you will really not recognize this aspect in someone okay um, i know people who are scorpio rising and having pluto square mars and uh, if you are wondering how it is really playing out they are totally repressed on the surface right in public so they appear very cool calm and collected and only if you know them better obviously they are really able to show you how fiery they are okay 
I wish I had remedy for this aspect, but the only thing uh, that comes to my mind is to really find a healthy outlet of this energy. Because, you know, there is just too much energy in these people and that's why um, they probably uh, don't feel overwhelmed uh, by tasks very easily because they are really able to handle a lot, right? There is real drive and real strong forces behind this aspect, okay? So, I would not worry much about these people because whatever uh, is happening to them, they are simply able to deal with it. And it, it is really because of that, you know, uh, street smart quality that is within them. Now, another important thing I would like to talk about in this video is talking. Because especially with uh, hard contacts, Mm, hard Pluto contacts typically manifest as stalking. Either you are being stalked or you are the stalker. And really this is the thing, right, with uh, Pluto square Mars because it can definitely manifest or go in both ways. But let me tell you, uh, especially this aspect, if you have it in a birth chart or you know someone who has it, uh, these people are prone to being raped, okay? And I know that uh, this is topic we commonly don't discuss, right? We really pretend that this doesn't exist, but somehow these people are really able to really, you know, attract individuals that are very, very dangerous, okay? So especially if you are the woman, you might struggle with this aspect, but uh, still healing is possible as with everything. And obviously houses matter, okay, in this case. So you better check where is your Pluto, where is your Mars in birth chart. But yeah, this is how it manifests. So either you attract predators, right? Or you are the one who has these qualities in you. I mean, you obviously have those qualities in you because you attract those dangerous people, but you may not be aware of that. And this is the tricky part about Pluto because Pluto is all about hidden, unconscious, you know, we really don't see Pluto coming. So, so I will still uh, search this aspect because I am personally interested. But what I know that uh, really you have these qualities, these dangerous uh, qualities. And that is the reason why you are so appealing to people that are very dangerous and can eventually harm you. Okay. On the more positive note, uh, this is one of the most potent aspects when it comes to sex drive, right? Mars square Pluto, I mean, you are dynamite. Let me tell you, dynamite in bed. And uh, yeah, so, so this is great. Maybe uh, this could be one of the healthier out outlets uh, of your strong, really strong Pluto Mars energy, okay? because um, you need sex to survive, okay? Uh, that's for sure. And I mean, um, you can be kinky definitely at times or to really very open, right, uh, in bed because that is simply how this aspect works for you, right? Your longings um, are very, very deep. And, you know, if you fall in love, you can become very, very obsessed with that person. And, uh, yeah, you usually don't take no for an answer because um, it only gets you to really fight harder for that person. And, yeah, that's why I really think that you are a survivor because um, there is something that is very pure and animalistic 
when it comes to your approach to life in general okay and uh, some people could actually be very surprised uh, if they would discover your true nature but as everything with Pluto we are typically not aware about uh, these qualities in us because it's square and Pluto is involved that means uh, you really have to have some awareness to really search this aspect this aspect is great for business because you know if you set your mind that you are really going to do something you will definitely do that because you have energy you have energy to keep going to never give up and yeah uh, to really success so really a lot of successful people have this aspect because they simply are still trying right and at the end of the day it's all worth it okay okay guys uh, thanks for watching once again I'm available if you are interested uh, check horoscopesandreadings.com I'm here for you with uh, private readings but other than that you can definitely subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you will be notified every time I release a new video I wish you a nice week bye bye